to from Orlando, Florida. And in this Hey guys, uh, started the video a little earlier, but um, Jennifer Boylan here coming to you from Orlando, Florida. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to broadcast a Google Hangout straight from your blog. Um, and I'm also going to go into, you know, what a Google Hangout is. So actually, um, currently I'm, I'm, creating this video from a Google Hangout on air so right now as I'm recording this it is live on my YouTube channel so if someone were to happen were happen to browse through my YouTube and they would come across this video they could watch me speaking live um, so that's kinda cool you can also invite other people to be on this hangout with you so um, you would have about uh, you can have up to nine people on the panel so it would be um, along the line down here uh, you'd see everybody's faces and um, you know if say you're on the hangout it could be something that you know you and a bunch of your friends are just getting together kinda like Skype uh, maybe you're um, in a business where you have to contact people and not everybody's local or your schedules conflict and you can't meet at a certain location then you can do a Google Hangout and it's really really neat now you can also share information to people if you want to um, create like you know a little teaching seminar through a Google Hangout um, you can show people how you do certain things if you're an author of a book and you wanna you know have a, a meeting about your book or you know or a Q&A session I mean there's the list goes on on what you can do with these Google Hangouts and um, I'm gonna show you how you can actually embed this video this live video so that you can invite people to watch you on video um, straight from your blog or website so um, just because you can only have nine people on the panel with you there's actually an unlimited amount of people that you can have watching your video and that can either be through YouTube or setting it up on a website or your blog um, now first things first you have to make sure you have a Google Plus account so if you have Gmail chances are you do have a Google Plus account if not it's super duper simple to set up um, and you don't have to be very intricate with it all you have to do is just make sure you have uh, your profile name set up and things like that and it'll be linked to your YouTube account and you also want to make sure that you are YouTube verified and all that means is going into your YouTube video manager um, and then you'll want to go to the settings and it'll say verify your YouTube account and all it's going to ask you to do is give them your cell phone number and they'll send you a text for verification and that's all that is required of the verification part um, so now getting to the really cool stuff is um, okay so I was having a little difficulty screen sharing but if what I want you to do right now okay so so you can do this with me or make sure you write this down but go to um, your Google profile your Google Plus profile and you'll see on the left hand side um, there's gonna be like a, it'll say home and then if you you know hover over home or click on it you'll see a drop down menu of all kinds of options well one of those options is a hangout on air button so you want to click that button and you don't have to invite anyone straight from that link you just click on that button start your hangout and just so you know it's not going to start recording until you actually press the start broadcast button so don't worry um, even if you click on start hangout it's not going to start airing yet so because um, you want to make sure that you if you're doing a hangout you want to make sure that you set everything up at least 30 minutes in advance of the scheduled time of your hangout because you want to make sure that the lighting is right um, you want to make sure that your sound is good and if you have to adjust any kind of settings you want to make sure it's all done before the actual hangout starts because you want to look professional especially if you're you know sharing information to other people um, now what you want to do also is before the Google Hangout um, I really wish I could show you my screen as far as this part goes but it just it goes a little crazy um, 
I'm going to do it anyway. Just bear with me. It's going to look a little crazy, but just try to understand what I'm showing you. Because um, it'll make it a little easier for you to understand if you can actually see what I'm talking about. So, okay, what I'm going to show you... This is going to be the actual screen of what your Google Hangout page looks like. And I know it looks a little weird with all these windows, and that's not actually what it looks like. But this part is what I really want you to focus on. Okay. So this link right here is actually the link that you can use to invite the people that you want on your panel. So like I said, it's uh, you can have up to nine people on your panel, so whenever you're ready to invite them, give them this link so they can click on it and join, and they have to also make sure that they have their Google Plus account as well. Um, and then as soon as they click on it and join, you'll see them appear on the panel on the on the bottom below. And okay, so now um, this is the Hangout toolbox, and you can actually access the toolbox by clicking this right here. It's a little app, so you're just going to download it. It'll only take a second. But this is really neat. This is what gives you the headline on the, it's called the lower third. So it's what's on the bottom of my screen where it says my name and you can see my icon. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, very formal as far as people know who you are when they're watching um, your hangout and things like that. You can put your own quote, you can add a logo, whatever kind of logo you choose and then you can save your setting and you can actually change this each time you do a Google Hangout. So it doesn't always have to be the same words or the same photo. Um, another thing that you can do with the Hangout Toolbox is set up comments so that the people who are on the panel with you can uh, write little chat comments on the side. Nobody else will see that, but in case you know someone has to go, uh, they can just shoot you a quick chat message instead of interrupting the whole Hangout. And then you want to make sure that you save your preset. And then the last thing I'm going to show you on the screen, because, you know, I know it looks a little crazy, but this is the most important, and this is, like, super duper duper cool. Okay. So how to actually embed the YouTube, uh, actually the Google Hangout, onto your blog or website. Well, guess what? There's this little embed button right here, okay? So you click on that embed button, and then you'll see this pop up. You want to copy and paste this link right here, and basically this is the exact embed code for the YouTube video if you were to do the same thing on YouTube. Okay, and so copy and paste that, and now I'm going to show you my... Um, Hello, I'm back. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to actually put it on your blog. Well, this is going to show you how to put it on your blog, but the same concept will apply when you are um, wanting to do it on your website. So this is my blog right here, and I'm going to title it uh, the same name as the video that I'm doing right now. So how to post a Google Hangout on your blog. Okay, now this is uh, the Empower Network blogging system. It actually uses the same uh, domain as WordPress. So those WordPress users out there, um, this is going to look very familiar to you. So you have two options here. You have visual or you have text. And um, you want to make sure that you embed, you use the embed link under the text option. I'm not really sure why this is so important, but if you if you don't do it that way, it you'll just see the actual link. You won't see the actual video. So um, did I copy it? Okay. So yeah. So that's what I did. So you just copy and paste it, and then the the numbers right here. There, it kind of makes the video look small. So I mean, you can just play with this, but I like to put it at 580 and the height at. 450. So you can play play around with this and see what you actually like. And then, um, you know, if you want to write something above the video, I'll just write something quickly. See, so now I'm going to go back to visual because this actually lets you do the H1, H2, H3 tags. So I'm just going to do the H. This is going to be just quick. 
Um, okay, how to host a Google Hangout on your blog. Okay, and then on the bottom, after the video, you can, if you decide, you can even write underneath it. You can put the exact uh, YouTube link right underneath it and then write a description of what the video is about but for now for demonstration purposes that's that's the main point that I wanted to get across now make sure in order for other people to see this blog and see your video that you want to share with people your hangout uh, make sure you publish your blog it, or if it's on your website make sure you just update it to where it'll be up to date so now if I wanted to go to view post might take a second here okay so this is my cool blog I love it okay so there you have it so this is actually I can invite people to if I want them to go to my blog and watch my Google Hangout if I want to do a tutorial like I'm doing right now and I want to you know send this directly to people and say sorry guys uh, this is my bedroom home office so I've got animals and you might hear them in the background a little bit but anyways moving on so what you want to do is copy this link here and I copy that and then I will send it out to either my list or people that I want to you know be on live with this on live of the Google Hangout with me but not actually on the panel so I'm just pretty much teaching them something and they're watching so if you if you want to do the same thing that's all you have to do is copy the link of your blog send it to them so that they can actually come straight to your blog and play this live hangout and it's really cool because it'll always be there until you update the next hangout and what's also really cool about this specific blog is that I have other blog posts my most recent posts on the side so if other people are done watching the hangout well I've got other links that they can have access to and read up on I've got videos on here that people can watch. I've got one about me sharing one of the principles I learned in the science of getting rich. Um, I have a video of Dave Sharp kind of talking about his past and how he was able to overcome being a homeless drug addict to the successful entrepreneur that he is today. And then I have this really cool video. It's called Why Do We Fall? And it's um, a compilation of uh, motivational videos with Sylvester Stallone and um, other other people and just you know it's just really inspiring just telling you to keep moving forward and you know just follow your heart follow your dreams and your passion because it's those people that follow their dreams and their passions that make things happen um, now that's kinda going um, besides the point of this video but I just wanted to show you a little bit of my blog as well so now I'm gonna go back to my screen okay so that's really all you have to do and um, basically if you want to if you're if you're gonna be on a Google Hangout but you're not hosting it you can still use that same embed code and put it on your blog or website so you can invite say um, a friend of yours is hosting the Google Hangout but you want other people to watch it um, because you're gonna be sharing some cool information or what have you well you can do the same thing uh, with the embed code and just put it on your blog um, so I hope you guys got some information out of that I am actually doing a live Google Hangout tonight with some uh, fellow entrepreneurs of mine um, well they're not my entrepreneurs but <laughs> they're friends and we're gonna be talking about the new blog beast platform so it's gonna be a lot better than the empower network version one it's gonna be able to allow you to upload videos pictures and your blog content straight from your mobile phone which will take minutes compared to you know 30 minutes to an hour um, for setting up one single blog so that's uh, what I have for you today um, if you want to learn how you can demonstrate uh, things that you know or love or if you have a passion about something and you want to share it with other people well um, click the link below in this description or in my blog and 
get started with us and see how you can uh, make a living just uh, doing what you love. So have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.